In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve the z-score of a normal distribution. So let's say for example, we are tasked to do this, find the z-score of 28 with the mean score of 35 and standard deviation of 4. So how to solve this and what's the formula to find the z-score? So z-score can be found from this curve. It's, it's what you call normal curve. It's a normal distribution. So it is forming like a bell. bell. It's a bell curve. And the z-score is located here. So these are z-scores z where the middle one is 0. On the right side are positive numbers. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. But of course there are numbers in between them. And um, at the left side are negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. But although it ends with negative 3, but there is still more than negative 3. And there is, uh, I mean lesser than negative 3. And there is also more than positive 3. So, let's solve now what the this is z-score of 20. Or we also call it standard score. So, we use this formula. Z equals uh, the, the x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So, let us substitute. We have 28 minus 35 all over standard deviation 4. So let us subtract 28 minus 35 is negative 7 divided by 4. So z is equal to negative 1.75. So where is negative 1.75 in our normal curve? It's here. So that is where the z-score of 28 is located. So another example, let's say we are now asked to find a z-score of 40 with the same mean score of 35 and standard deviation of 4. So let us solve this. We're going to follow the same formula, z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. So this actually is z-score of a sample uh, data. If it's population data, the mean will be the mu symbol. I don't know if you, if you have seen the mu symbol, a Greek letter. That's the population mean. And the, uh, the sigma symbol for standard deviation. That's the population standard deviation. And S is just a sample standard deviation. But anyway, it's the same formula. So let's substitute. So our X is 40. That's the number that we want to know the standard score or this Z score minus the mean which is 35 divided by 4 so 40 minus 35 is 5 divided by 4 so let's divide this z is now equal to 5 divided by 4 is 1.25 and this is positive 1.25 so it's located here it's 1 and 0.25 so that is where 1.25 is and that means the Z, I mean, the, the, the value of 40 is located there in the normal curve. Without changing it to a Z score, you will not know where it is located in the normal distribution. And in the further topics, you will understand why do you need to know where is the, the value in the normal distribution. Another example. So we have this, find a z-score of 35 with a mean score. So it's the same 35 and standard deviation will be the same also. It's 4. So let's use the same formula and substitute. So it's going to be 35, that's the x. And the mean is also 35 with a standard deviation of 4. So this will be equal to 0 divided by 4. So the z will be now 0 divided by 4, or 0 divided by any number except for 0 is 0. So 0 is here, so obviously it's in the middle, and this means the mean, which is the 35, is always having a standard score of 0. So for a normal curve problem, 
if the v if the given x is also the mean score automatic the standard the, the z score of it or the standard score is always zero and that is how you solve a z score of a normal distribution thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section